I love featuring me working today, 239. Uh, today has been pretty good, actually. I, uh, I know I said I was going to film that video last night, but I decided to wait till today. But then when I decided to do it this morning, I was like, I'm going to wait till tonight because my grandparents are in the kitchen and they're in the kitchen a lot. And I was like, damn, I can't really make a video when they're right there. Um, but, uh, but they, my grandma had a dentist, uh, a doctor's appointment. Uh, so she, they, they were gone for like four or five hours because they stayed in that town that they were in to like shop and stuff. So I had all the time to record and I did, I have, so I recorded the main video and I have like two or three other things on the record for like jokes, for, like little skits. But other than that, I'm, yeah. And I finished editing the video except for those things. So hopefully I can have it up tomorrow. Yeah, big buddy move. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, but today's been pretty good. I, I, I woke up, so I, I came up with a new strategy. Came up with a new little strat. Um, who the hell is that? I got a text from someone. Sarah. Why is Sarah texting me? That's weird. Uh, I'm going to touch her back in a second. Um, So I'm like, penis. Sorry. I have to make this one short because it's already 1040. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? It's only 1040. What the fuck is going on? Um, so, so whenever I go to set my alarms at night, I'm going to set every alarm a minute for 10 minutes. So if I like shut, if I like, cause sometimes I'll wake up and my alarm will go off and I wake up and I don't remember even turning it off. So I'm going to set one for every minute for 10 minutes. So I set one for nine, nine, one, nine, two, nine, three, all the way to nine, 10. And I got up at nine. So I turned off all the other ones, but I think that'll help me. And also I want to see if I can put my phone up there. So when I get up, I have to walk and hopefully that'll wake me up because it's really hard for me to get up in some of the morning. So I want to, you know, but I actually woke up feeling decent this morning, which I, I I didn't take melatonin either, so it was all natural, <laughs> which is really nice. Uh, um, sorry. Um, Cooper's doing good. I haven't worked on music much today, just because I've been working on that video. Um. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. Okay, no, yeah. What, what have I eat today? I woke up. I didn't have anything to eat for a while. Then I had soup, and then I later in the day I had pork chops, and then I had some snacks like chip. I did have some chips today, and a Twinkie, and some of these, which isn't the best. But I'm not planning on eating again tonight. At least I hope not. I mean, maybe if I get super hungry, but I don't think I will. Um, but I, I, I am doing better on eating. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm doing great, but I am doing better. I think it's just going to be a gradual slowdown. I did take a break yesterday. I jogged for about four-ish minutes, but I was there's something about there's something weird going on with my heel, like the like like the back of your heel is that tendon. I, I don't know what the front of that of the heel is called, but that was really hurting. Like my entire body was sore. So. And then I realized that I have been almost working out for nonstop for like a week and a half. And I was like, I need to take, I, I, I need a couple break days. So I'm, I am going to work out tonight. I keep going, it's not really working. I'm, I am going to exercise tonight. And I, I just need to figure out like an actual consistent schedule to like some break days. Maybe like every day during the week and take weekends off for like every other day. I, I don't know if every other day is bad or not. I need to do research. But yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. Um, yep, so that was my day. That was my day. I asked someone I know who can get me edibles. I asked them if they could get me edibles, and they have not texted me back. I think edibles are the best option because I was going to get dabs originally, but I don't have a dab pen. Or I, don't, I don't even have a vape at all. And then I was like, okay, I'll just get leaf. But then that's horrible here because I'd only have to smoke it outside. And it's insanely cold outside, and I definitely do not want to smoke it here. So I think edibles is the best way to go. I just need to 
hiding them somewhere. But I really want some soon. Be- well, I, I, I mean, I, I'd like some. I'm not going to say I... I mean, I do really want them, but... Um, I haven't gotten high in, like, almost a month. Uh, um... I feel fine without it, though. I'm definitely not, like... I hate the people who say you can't get addicted because you totally can. It's just, it's not like a physical addiction. It's it's like if you get addicted and then you're not, you won't have like withdrawal symptoms. You'll probably feel like shit just because you've been high for like months, but you won't get like, you, you won't get like with like actual withdrawal symptoms. It's not that kind of addiction, but you can still definitely get addicted to it, but there's no serious, serious risks in it um but people who say you can't get addicted are just wrong um but i'm not i i, I literally only did it during the weekends and that, that was the best shot for me because if i did it during the week i wouldn't get it. i i did it during the week like maybe every two weeks but and that's only on days that i didn't have class immediately after um What else? What else to talk about? What else to talk about? 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 about. Oh, I try to get black. No, that's not what I'm going to say. I try to get back into Blender. I made a little house on a grassy hill. I just wish I knew Blender. I wish I could just learn stuff without having to learn it, but that just takes away the whole fucking fun of it. But I'm just so bored, and all the videos kind of suck, and the videos that are good I've already watched, and I don't want to watch again. God damn it, damn it, damn it. I wish I had a teacher. I wish I just had a teacher that could teach me Blender. I guess Eli could, but I'm not exactly talking to him right now. It's just that same thing again that happened senior year where he's just not inviting me out to anything. And I've literally, t- I talked to him the first time it happened after I punched the locker and shit. I, t- I literally talked to him about it and he was like, okay, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was doing it and then proceeded to do it. There's no way that he doesn't know what he's doing. No fucking way he doesn't know what he's doing. He says he doesn't. And I think, and he, he texted me like twice being like, Hey, how are you? But some part of me just thinks that he's just doing it to make himself feel better. I don't know. I just. I just find it really hard to believe that he's not doing it on purpose. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I I get tired around nine, which is really weird. I get tired twelve hours after I wake up is really weird. Um, and I'd rather not go to bed right now. My eyes are kind of burning, though. That might just... And I might need to drink some more. I have been drinking more water, but I might need to drink some more. More water. More water. Breathe air. Out of all the thing, Out of all the horrible shit Andrew Tate has said, that is the one that I agree with the most, is that... Breathe air. <laughs> Everyone should breathe air. Um... Jesus, sorry. I took an autism test. I never finished it. Fuck. <laughs> I, t- I I'm literally in the middle of taking one. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Cause my phone froze up. Here, let's see. Let's let's finish it. I'm obsessed with my calendar. I am not obsessed with my calendar. I track most conversations in a large group setting. Uh, I rarely keep track at all. I like to hang out in groups. Uh, most of the time I'm down, I'll say. This isn't the whole quiz. I've definitely answered more. I often see things others miss. I guess kind of it happens sometimes. 
on the weekends I like to go to parties. Not really. Yeah, and I'm torn would be it. I find it easy to write stories. Yes. So fun. I feel a stronger connection to things rather than people. Depends on the person or the thing. True. I get really upset when I when kept from activities I enjoy. I really, really hate this. True. I love small talk. It's okay. I'm de deeply attracted to numbers and letters. Are autism people... <laughs> Are the tism creatures upset? <laughs> Are the tism creatures up attached to numbers and letters? Not really my thing. I'm often surprised and confused by the intentions, belief, or desires of a character. Sometimes this happens. Non-fiction, non-fake. Fiction. Uh... I don't want to say fiction is so much better, but I like fiction a little a little better. I make friends easily. Uh, I'd say most of the time. I see patterns easily. Fuck no. No, I do not. No, I'm terrible at patterns. I love researching facts about my interests. Sometimes I do. Got me. Hold on. I'm sensitive to touching things. Sometimes. Sometimes, I, yeah. There are some, like, shirts that I can't wear because it just feels too weird. I get so overwhelmed by senses. I shut my... That does happen sometimes. This has happened to me if... Yeah. Yes. Uh, if things are too loud, I cover my ears. I feel like... I understand that, like, people who have autism do this, but I feel like if something's insanely loud, anyone would do this. But when there's a fire alarm going off, I have to cover my ears. I've done this a few times. There are foods I refuse to try. No way. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe a few things. I am a good meditator. Uh, I have been a few times. When I was a kid, I loved to I loved play pretend with friends. Yes, I fucking loved it. Yes, my fake store. My fake store was. Po oh yeah, my fake store. I love playing magical creatures. Yeah, sure, why not? If, if interrupted, I can easily return to what I'm doing. No. Taste me if you reset. I am likely on the spectrum. You have a third of this quiz. Oh, you have a third of the sentence in this quiz. You can ask a doctor. I am likely on the spectrum. I wouldn't be surprised. But I also wouldn't be surprised if I wasn't. Um... <laughs> Took an autism test. That's that's the title of this video. Thumbnail. The tism? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm um, probably went in there. This has been a really weird video. Um, if I forgot to talk about anything, I'll leave it in the comments or talk about it tomorrow.